Hey everybody, welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles Remastered. So, I've tried and tried this mission um, quite a few times. And from what i found, it's very difficult to kind of get Maximilian in the right position that you want him to be so he's not able to wipe out h half of your team in a turn. Plus, having these towers keep on coming back uh, every single turn in random orders uh, is very tedious. And, you know, after an after I played for about an hour extra um, that I will sh that I've showed that I, that I will show stuff uh, in the at some point in, in the video I haven't decided yet but at some point I will show sort of a couple highlights from an hour of an episode that I completely scrapped and said I'm not putting this up this is this is not good I'm gonna give this a shot Okay, not not terrible damage, but not great either. I don't care. <laughs> That's fine. During his turn. Yeah, I figured. I figured he was going to do this. Yeah, so he he keeps getting he keeps getting all of his health back. That's a little bit of a... It's a little bit of an issue right now. He keeps getting his health back every single time it's his turn. And I don't know... I, I don't know what else to really say about that. Try this again? But now, do I have to somehow... And call me crazy if I, if I do in fact have to do this. But do I have to somehow not only have enough turns to take down all the things that are attached to him all like these three things that are attached to him but do i also somehow have to take him down in the same turn but if he regains all of his health back that kind of makes it impossible i'm on it I, I i could be wrong but you know call me call me crazy but that does seem a little bit uh out there Nope, he immediately turns around regardless. Oh my god. Wow. Um, nope, so it's not like Salveria. He immediately turns around to the very next person. Here we go! See, like, for the tanks, for example, he immediately turns around and notices that I... that I can get him. That's... that's a huge issue. That's a real big issue. Um... Fire! Really? It seems to be literally every turn he gains his health back. He gained he gains all of his health back. Damn it, so I am missing something. I'm missing something here. He keeps regaining his health every single turn. Do you wanna tell game, do you wanna tell me why he why you he keeps regaining his health? And look at that, now three of them are back. And he has all of his health again. What am I supposed to do? A B. A B. Three turns? You have to beat him in three turns. I can't even take... <laughs> Woo. I do not understand this. 
I really don't actually. I, I, I actually don't quite. I actually really honestly don't understand this boss. Like, I'm clearly doing something wrong. I, I'm 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 actually confused right now. Are you serious? He gets to the exact same spot that he would have gotten before. That's literally the exact same spot. Are you kidding me? Hmm. Wow. Um. What progress was even made this episode? I I don't even know. Like none. <laughs> I now I now I some I kind of know what I what I need to do, kind of. But I feel this is honestly going to be just the best right now. I, I need to get a clean slate. I need to basically do do something like this, and I need to. Once I once I get these things down, I need to then be able to, uh, I guess the, I guess the best thing to do is just surround him. Um, yeah, I, I guess that literally seems to be the best thing I can do right now. So, pretty much this is why we're all the way back here. Now I actually re reset up my entire my entire team again because I've basically have looked up um, sort of a cheap way of how to do this correctly and I guess I will find out um, if uh, I guess I'll find out how this uh, how this goes I'll do my best so to get things first going I need to start to take out this tower for the sniper. And another one. Yes. Nice work. So once that's done, um, I can then use Just Largo to be used as the one to take down these, and hopefully, yeah. hopefully all these shots hit. All right. Good work. Keep it up. Start to move him over onto the other side as well. And yeah, so so again, like I'm not really going to be doing it. Uh, well, it, again, it kind of goes on what you think of as being quote unquote legit uh, beating this uh, beating this boss. It, it, it kind of goes depends on what you would classify it as. Uh, as beaten, because I mean, I would kind of. I trust me. I, I don't even know what I'm what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so what I'm currently going to do uh, now is, you know, those orders that I've gotten throughout the entire game, and I've I've either from upgrading from upgrading classes, getting orders, or. Uh, go in to talk to the the old man at the uh, cemetery yeah all those orders that I've never used throughout the entire game I'm just gonna start dumping a bunch of, uh, dumping a few of them onto uh, vice here this is an order and this pretty much has been pr has been proven to be to one yourself. of the best ways uh, to go about doing this um, when it comes to this uh, this battle. The next thing I need is penetration. So defense boost, obviously increased defense. Penetration, I actually had to look up and I got that from uh, going back. Because um, that's the thing too. I actually went back and upgraded the scouts, I think, I don't know, so the shock troopers, I think about three times and the scout, or the uh, snipers, sorry, the snipers to level 15. Uh, that's where you get penetrate. That's where I got penetration. Penetration will uh, will avoid all all defense um, on opponents. So all their armor that they'll have on, it completely negates all their armor and just and just goes right through them, which uh, seems is very uh, powerful. And the last thing is awakened potential. 
which this one will base this one as far you as far as from this. what I've seen Trust will always activate it, 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 during during the battle it will always activate their it'll activate it'll, it, if you haven't already it'll at it'll have all of their potentials available plus it'll activate all the potentials much uh, much more often you know so the, the, so those those some small uh, potentials that weren't that, you know that, that you weren't really uh, able to that what you know they maybe weren't able to get sometimes those ones will actually start coming up uh, quite often uh, like for example with uh, Alicia and her uh, Valkyria um, skill that like decreases uh, I, I forget exactly it's it, like it like activates only from when they're taken uh, uh, counter attacks or something and like increases her defense by a lot so she can pretty much walk right through bullets I'll but in a case it. like this this is a uh... so yeah so like now. challenge lovers <laughs> basically bisons so right now I need to get right to over here and see if I can get a good shot off. You can't dodge nice, this. Nice undodgeable shot. Be gone. Perfect. That's that's exactly what I what I wanted. Try to advance while staying covered. <laughs> so right now, so right now, I skip right ahead to the second or to the yeah to the set to the final phase. Um, normally there's another dialogue option if I take him down like a quarter of his health. You, you filthy vermin. Very well. We shall see how you fare once the power output is raised to its limit. Yeah, so... That's pretty so, so so again like I I didn't want I'll to technically it. do it a very cheap it way but movie. after playing after playing Our this mission for <laughs> nearly two hours just on this one mission I was kind of like you know it, it, it just like I, I would I would have pretty much needed to max out all my characters and that would have needed a bunch of grinding in order to really get it to work, because the, the main problem was I was not able to do a lot of damage to him, that he would constantly keep regaining his health back. That was my main issue, and Leave it all to so, me. yeah, so Today's this is basically the third phase, once, once this phase, uh, once this phase happens, uh, he pretty much just becomes, uh, an, an easy hit, pretty much. You can't nice, dodge and this. I get undodgeable shot again. Oh wow, that's funny. He's literally got, he's got one HP. He's actually got one HP. But hey, and the best part about this too, I beat this on uh, in one turn, and uh, I'll get an A rank for sure from this. Sure, why not? Super damage. <laughs> so it took me about two hours, and what now? Eight and a half minutes? Not even. To actually beat this, so impossible. Ours is the power of the Valkyr. Uh, how? How are we beaten? Maximilian, you lost the moment you began to rely on the Valkyr's power. So overall, I'm I'm fairly happy um, with with going about doing this. I uh, and yeah, so I mean, I, I I feel I feel like it's it's only it's kind of fair, you know. It, it took me forever to find to try to get the hang of it. I would have needed to go back purposely and grind in order to get to the to this point without using orders. But again, like the orders are there, so. But I'm glad to finally uh, beaten it. Dogs of Gallia. It's time to surrender, Maximilian. Your war is over. <laughs> 
Surrender, you say? I think you forget. We Valkyra can give our lives to fuel a blazing hot inferno of destruction! Why has it stopped? My guess is it's because I killed the power supply. <laughs> Folio, you made it! I snuck out in time to hitch a ride on this monster. I'm sorry it took me so long to stop the engine. No matter my reasons, I was wrong to have betrayed you. Now, it's time that I paid for what I have done. Let go! Let us go now! Look at the two of us, thinking power could save us. Now it's our cue to leave the stage. Farewell, Welkin, Alicia. Best of luck. Deck's a lost cause. Alicia, let's find a way up. Right. Lead on. I'm not afraid when I'm with you. Ever. Now let's go. Thanks. Right. Let's move. Close. 
close one, bro. Leon, it must have taken forever to finish building this. Where did you find the time? After we lost Isara, Casey and myself, well, everyone in the squad really came by to pitch in a hand. It was Isara's dream, you know? So, uh, it wasn't hard finding help. I don't suppose it was. Isara, you'll always live inside us. The dreams you left that day, now they're all of ours. Rest in peace. So tell me, bro, how far are we going today? This baby could take us clear across the sea if we want. Back home. Back to a free country. Our friends are waiting. Take us to Rangri's. The 25th day of October, 1935. The death of Maximilian, commander of the Empire's invasion of Gallia, paved the way for truce between the two nations. After seven tumultuous months at war, Gallians everywhere looked forward to a time of hard-won peace. Squad 7 of the Gallian militia disbanded shortly after the conflict's conclusion. And its members began to move on, each following his or her own path. And here, at the end of their long struggle, I lay my pen to rest. All right, and that is, that is actually it. Um, all right, yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm very happy that I find out the time to, find out around to, to play in this, um, uh, I don't know, like, it's, it's, it's very, it was it, it was it was a very interest very interesting uh, game for sure, for sure, especially since I, you know, sort of these uh, tactical sort of uh, uh, games like like this aren't aren't honestly I don't even think I'm really that good. Uh, they're way out of my comfort zone of what I what I, I usually like to play. Um, and the fact that the fact that I was able to, you know, the fact that, that I was able to beat the entire game with having, and and also to the plus of having of having everyone survive, um, which granted is not too difficult, um, which is thankful because I know I know there's a bunch I know there's other games where like oh if a character dies in one battle or whatever gets knocked down in one battle they're gone for the rest of the game you have to redo the from like the last save point or just redo the the entire mission again or something like that uh but yeah but so like granted in this game it's not too too difficult to keep everyone alive but it still can be uh it still can be a little, little bit a little bit a little bit of uh of a uh, challenge you know um but yeah, I mean, I yeah. So because the, because something like this is completely out of my uh, forte or out of out of my norm, uh, I'm very intrigued. Uh, I'm very glad that that I that I played something like that. That I played this. I mean, there's there's not there's not there's not really too many other other, other games, at least on like. Uh, the consoles that I have, there's not, there's not so many games like this that, uh, you know, have that that have like a really that you know they have a, has a you know really interesting style to it. Uh, you know, it has it has a lot of good memorable characters uh, that you know just yeah. Uh, 
you know, a game that's both, like, funny and in a case of Asara and, and, and stuff that, you know, in time way, like, like you know, it, it's, it's both, it, like, it's, again, it's, it's, got, it's got a fun, fun charm to it, but it knows when to be serious. That was probably that, that was like definitely probably like one of the biggest set pieces, biggest set pieces I guess I'd say from the entire game is like from Asara's death and onwards is is probably when like uh, it's probably when when the game not not really not really like not saying that like oh that that you know then it, it starts to come to it but like it's I don't know like like the, it, it it made it made a big deal on that. I, I got that. Like I, I definitely I definitely I definitely got that from uh from from that moment. Uh, but yeah, I mean the gameplay is is fun is, is so much fun. And the fact and the fact that I was and the fact that, you know, originally this game was just gonna be like a downtime thing before I got into or just something to play before I got into uh, when the Mega Man X Legacy Collection was uh, was coming out, and yeah, I mean, it's really uh, it's really just it's really interesting that the fact that it, it took me really this long to actually uh, get around to actually uh, finishing it. I mean, I put in like 40 hours or something into the game, and and I mean that's really really good. So yeah, probably. Funny enough, this funny enough, this is probably going to be. Uh, probably on, honestly, one, honestly, one of the shortest, one of the shorter videos, when it comes to uh, when it comes to the game. I mean, again, it's probably got it's probably got a long credits, as uh, as we're seeing here, but it still is probably going to be one of the more shorter videos uh, for this entire playthrough of 44. I think 44 parts. I haven't. I haven't really looked. I haven't really look, look, looked it up recently. Because I've been I've been doing other stuff while uh, while this has been up. Uh, while this has been up too. At the same time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Th yeah. Th this in fact will be 44 uh, parts. I completely forget. I completely forget what's my longest playthrough. It, it, I, I know for a fact this is not going to be it, um, but there is. There are quite a few. Uh, there are quite a few playthroughs that I'm, I'm fairly. I'm, I'm fairly happy with that are always that that, are, that always seem to be around like the 40s. You know, like a bunch like the uh, couple of the uh, Sly, Sly Cooper games, Kingdom Hearts games. I think most of the Dragon Guard games, if not all of them, are in the 40s. So all, all like the bitter ones that that I've enjoyed uh, are all like around there, which I think is kind of uh, kind of funny. Mr. G, you gotta take us bug hunting again soon, okay? You bet. You know, I think you're ready for my top secret hunting spot. Yippee! <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Go right along home now. Welcome, Gunther. After the war, he returned to his studies. 
Many had thought the Galleon hero would rise to further fame, but Welkin had something else in mind. He returned to Bruel, there to realize his long-held dream of becoming a teacher. On weekends, he's often seen taking his students out on nature hikes. His is a peaceful civilian life, and he would have it no other way. Choosing Alicia's. Hey, honey. How's business today? Hey. Hey, you. What a surprise. Guess what? So I started selling the smoked cheese bread today, and everybody loves it. Of course. Told you that bread was great. Guess everyone in town agrees with me. Yeah. <laughs> Alicia Gunther. Trading in her rifle for a rolling pin, Alicia trained around the clock to pursue her dream. After many long months, she received her national certification as baker. On the same day, she married her sweetheart, Welkin Gunther. Together, the two opened Alicia's Bakery. It didn't take long for word to spread about her delicious creations. And now, even visitors from far away make a point of stopping to sample her fresh baked bread. How about you? How are your classes today? Ah, uh, you know, those kids never seem to run out of questions. <laughs> you know, they're amazing. Their curiosity's endless. That's so. Then you're a kid, too. You're as incurably curious as any one of them. <laughs> Speaking of kids, how's Isara been today? Oh my god, they already have a kid. Frank? <laughs> Papa! Hey there! Have you been a good girl? Yep, I was real good. I was just helping Mama make some bread. I needed the dough all by myself. Oh, I wish you could have tasted the bread that dough made. Our customer said it was the best ever. Hey, Isara, that's really great. All right, you show me how and I'll help, okay? Yay! Come on, Papa, I'll teach you. Well, that, that was a that was a good uh, a good epilogue uh, sort of sort of part. That that was that was really good. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see this in the recording, but I'll read it anyways. Uh, create and save data to save your completed game. By loading the save data, you can carry over what you've earned to a new game and play through the game again. Good. So new game plus and. Make a brand new save. All right, and that is that is in fact is in fact it. So now, if I were to load the save I just made, okay, so it does it does have a, a cleared save data. Uh, let me reload that back up. What does Prologue. Okay, yeah, so I can start right from right from the beginning again. Uh, about playing cleared save data. By starting a new game with a cleared save data, you can enjoy the game once again with your unit levels and stats intact. Begin the second play uh, beginning the second playthrough, the story is unlocked by chapter. 
instead of by episode, allowing for a quickened pace. Story battles can also be played multiple times. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so keep at it until you've earned A rank on every battle in the war. About statistics. Here can be your rankings and the shortest turn count for each battle you've fought so far. Press triangle to open it. Page 1 contains plot battle information. Page 2 contains ranking data from skirmish battles. And listen to tracks from the, from the soundtrack. Hard difficulty added skirmishes. Ooh, boy. <laughs> That's gonna be something. Uh, I guess headquarters is probably the next one I should go to. Since I do have some time anyways. Um, but yeah, audience hall. Because I should be getting a couple... I should be getting some... Some... Something for beating the game. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. In honor of your manifold accomplishments... You are hereby awarded this honor. Highness, it's an honor. There we go. That's the one. That should be the one for beating the game. Savior of Dahlia. Furthermore, for your squad's exemplary performance in the final battle, this royal award. Thank you, Your Highness. All right, so another another parts of a uh, weapon. May you elite. Hmm. Okay, I actually thought that, I actually thought there would have been there would have been more. In fact, um. So let's see. Actually, I think that may just be it. Yeah, so then if I go to decorations. Uh yeah, that was a while ago. And yeah, that one's for Yeah, beating the game basically. And I still have a couple still have a couple more to do. Um which yeah, which yeah, again, like there's only only 20, tr 20 trophies in the entire entire game, and still, I mean, like I put in 40 hours, and the, like, this is all I've gotten so far. So I mean, it's it definitely takes some time. Uh, if you want to go for 100 percent on this, it definitely takes quite a lot of time. Especially, I, I can only imagine too if this was on the PS3 version. Well, does the PS3 version had trophies? I'm not even sure, honestly. I'm not even sure if this PS3 version had trophies for this honestly um but i can only imagine of like if you wanted to go for all these i could i like you would have to look it up pretty much because there, there are still some here that i i still i'm still not uh 100 on uh on getting but anywho uh let's see what are my oh so let's see, overall, so top, top rank, yeah, there, there, there are some here that, that are, that are kind of, kind of tricky. So all that's there, and those are all the statistics for the uh, skirmishes, which I've, again, as you can see, I've only done three of them. And I still have hard and expert difficulty that I could potentially uh, uh, go for and do. Oh, that's actually, that, oh, yeah, that's good. They actually do have a counter for how many foes I've defeated. That's good. And I think a couple of these are the DLC that was added uh, into the game um, 
for the remastered version that you had to do it separately on uh, on PS3. Okay, so then pretty much got the uh, entire soundtrack, which is pretty nice. Um, I think really that's about. I think really that's about it. I mean, I, I, I yeah. So pretty much now I can, I can go through uh, the. Well, I would have to replay through all the chapters in order to. Uh, I would I will have to replay through through the entire game in order to unlock all the chapters, but at least for the fact that I can play through the game again, and then play through the story missions as many times as I want, uh, is definitely definitely a plus. Because that, 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 would, that would be probably one of the only few things that I would say is a uh, downside, I, I guess. I, I guess that it, it's not even much of a downside, it's just I would have rather preferred being able to replay story missions as many times as I wanted to, rather than being like, oh, you, you got one chance to do it and try to do your best. And then if you want, if you, in order to do it a second time, you have to beat the game and then play through all the missions all over again. But, at least from the second time through, that's when, you know, if you mess up somewhere and you don't get an A rank, you know, for completionist's sake or whatever, then, you know, th then you're able to uh, replay through the game again. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, yeah, so overall, uh, one, one of the biggest uh, surprises, I, I will definitely say, from the last... From the last uh, little while, honestly, one one of the the biggest surprises of of a game, uh, you know, both ma makes you think, uh, as well as just uh, have fun with it. Pretty much, like it's 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 a it's a very 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 easy game to 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 have fun with, honestly. Huh. Weird. There's a person who I haven't actually found. Oh, there's a couple people who I haven't who I haven't found. That's really peculiar. I guess I'll come across them at some point. Um But uh but yeah, so I uh big fan of this now um i would have i would really i would have really liked that if that uh if valkyria chronicles 2 and 3 were to be released uh were, were to be released over here well i know i know 2 was only on psp but at least that's done in english um but i and then i know valkyria chronicles yeah two, yeah 2 was 2 was on psp done in English. Valkyria Chronicles 3, I heard because of the low sales of the second one, because it was only on PSP, that they decided not to even bring it over over to the States. So it's just in Japanese. Or or apparently like there's been like translations been done to it. But basically it's not even it's it hasn't even been localized technically. And then Valkyria Chronicles 4 is coming out like this week or something. Now, as much as I would like to immediately jump into Valkyria Chronicles 4, because since both 1 and 4 are in the same time are in the same universe, the same world, the same like timeline, timeline wise, they're in they're in the same uh whatever. They they both happen around the same time. Um which is which is really cool. Uh, so, but as much as I would like to, I don't think I'm going to get around to that. Uh, will I get around to that? Eventually. I, I would very much like to. Uh, at the, at the moment right now, it's hard to justify an $80, $80 purchase, uh, for a brand new game. So, that's, that's why. I, I have to be very picky and picky about what I want, and, uh... I've already got like one or two other ideas of games for the next for the rest of the year that I'm for sure getting. And I'm more I'm more or less happy with that. 
but that's yeah so that's uh i think that's pretty much gonna be it uh let me just resave over here uh but yeah so my final time is roughly around like 41 hours and like 40 some minutes uh yeah and honestly uh yeah so very uh, a pretty long game that uh i'm i can now say i'm i'm very much a fan of i will definitely like to play valkyria chronicles 4 um maybe when i go maybe when it goes down to like half price in like a year <laughs> or something uh but yeah i uh, that's that will be it so thank you everyone thank you everyone for watching uh this has been a great great fun game here uh fun journey and uh hopefully you enjoyed as much as i did and uh i guess for welkin alicia uh, and everyone on Squad 7, uh, hopefully I will uh, see you all later.